So what's this video about, Katie? Um, it's basically what our pond turned into this summer versus what we had originally established. Normally I have different types of flowering plants in here along with the grasses. I'd had two strikes and I wasn't going to have a third. We had an issue because it was dry this year. Um, the ants actually found their way into my potted plants, my New Guinea patients, the first time. Totally drained them. These are the second batch that they drained. It's like they sucked everything out of the plant that had moisture in it. And I've never, we've never had a problem like this before. Um, so I pulled them out so we wouldn't have an issue with anything decaying. And the cypress grass had gotten pretty big anyway, so we just let that be in there, along with the wire grass. It's not as colorful as I really wanted, um, or as it was in the beginning of the season. Um, we still have water lilies that are blooming in here. Um, the only two I've seen bloom out of the four or five different colors that I bought were this one, the fuchsia, and white, and then the plain white, which is on the other side of the stock tank. I did purchase an orange one along with a, a darker fuchsia, and I have not seen those try and bloom yet. It's possible they tried under the surface and for some reason there was a reaction where the fish got to them or the plant decided it didn't have possibly enough nutrients. Um, like I said, it's the end of the season right now. So between everything with the fluctuations of temperatures and rainfall, what we do get, as you can see, it's almost overflowing the pond right now. We got about three inches of rain last week and it was almost as much to where the fish could s swim over the edge. So we were doing fish patrol to make sure that they did not swim out of the pond. We try and structure the pond a little bit different each year. Um, as you can see, the cypress grasses are tipping over between one, the water level, and two, their root system is ginormous. Um, they're pretty mounted on the bottom, so there isn't a flat spot for them to sit on. So we're gonna have to take some rocks and wedge them so they can't tip over with the wind um, because of the height of everything in the pond right now. I'm going to try and winter all the cypress grass as much as possible. We have papyrus grass into the waterfall. The grasses do not flower. They, the papyrus is probably the closest to look like a flower. But you have to maintain them when you have them indoors to make sure that if they are in a bog system like we had the other ones last year that they're not going to get any root rot or decay where it's going to cause an issue with ammonia fluctuation in your tank. But yeah, this is our pond this year. We're anxious to see how many goldfish we pull out of here compared to the 42 we put in in the beginning of the season. We did have a late setup season this year. The weather wasn't really cooperative and the time constraint that we had between the greenhouse and our jobs and everything else in our personal life, we had to do a quick setup of the pond. I think it happened in about a day and a half. So it was kind of a thrown together version, but it worked. It did what we wanted it to. We enjoy it. We enjoy the waterfall and the features. Um, the grasses that are behind the waterfall here in the pots are actually perennial grasses. They're pompous grass. Um, they're the white version I received from a friend of mine um, who had a ton of it on his property and it was getting to be invasive to the point where it was taking over everything. So he dug some up for me and then I did my little experiment last year of wintering them in the pot to see if they would come back. And yes, indeed, they did come back and they were even bigger this year than they were last year. They're starting to get their seed flowers on as Jake showed you. Once they do that, they'll plume out at the top and then they look kind of like a feather duster, but they have a ton of seeds in them. So once they're completely plumed out and they've sat for a few days, I like to take the seeds and put them back into the same pot so we're not getting them everywhere in our yard. This of course is solar powered. I don't know if we went over that much in the other videos, but um, 
I've got a bucket in here. I forgot the name of the lid. It's a snap-on lid with a screw top. Drilled some holes in it. Got a sump pump in there. Surrounded by uh, lava rock for biological filtration. And then just stuffed full of polyfill with a big foam, two-inch foam disc on top as a pre-filter. So it sucks down through the top of the filter, down into the bottom, pumps out through this into our water box here and which flows then into this top bog which is a cement mixing bucket and then water falls into here it turns on for 10 minutes every hour I wish I could go longer but with the battery capacity that I have right now in the charging system this is about all it can handle under here I have the batteries two uh, AGM batteries set up with a timer um, charge controller two poly crystalline 100 watt panels usually does a pretty good job keeps the water aerated pretty well I do have a secondary air pump in there just to kind of help with the surface area of the water looks pretty green right now because of all the rain we've had and then the hot hot days um, the filtration system does help get that algae out of the pond aerator is mainly in there because the algae will eat up all the oxygen if the waterfall is not going 24 7 there's not aeration into the pond for the fish so this is part of the reason why we have an extra aerator in the pond so that our fish don't die Yeah, that's our uh, 2023 pond setup. It looks Each... so much better in the beginning. I think it looks all right. I really love the grasses in there. It looks more natural than having, in my opinion, all the flowers in there. I kind of would like the lilies to bloom a little bit more at a time. That would add some more color. Each year we try to make it a little different, a little better. Hopefully by next year we can have it set up a little more with some smaller fountains and stuff along inside here and just lots of different ideas that we always have we'll have a little bit more time being we don't have to build a greenhouse next year that's true like we're always saying we're always busy trying to keep content coming out to you if you like what you see what are they supposed to do katie like and subscribe always smash that like button smash it smash it we'll see you in the next one